बार जो मैंने कमिटमेंट कर दी उसके बाद तुम्हें खुद की भी नहीं सुनता हम यहाँ के रॉबिन हुड हैं रॉबिन हुड पांडे मैं मॉडर्न जमाने का कुत्ता हूँ लेटेस्ट मैं करूँ तो साला कैरेक्टर ढीला है जिंदगी में तीन चीज कभी अंडर एस्टिमेट नहीं करना आई मी एंड माई मुझ पर एक एहसान करना कि मुझ पर कोई एहसान ना करना And whether he is Chulbul Pandey, whether he is Prem, or whether he is Bodyguard, can anybody stop this man at the Bollywood box office? He certainly startled everyone with that hat trick success. And joining us to discuss the Salman Khan magic is uh, CNN IBN's entertainment editor Rajiv Masand, also producer of his latest Bodyguard, as well as his brother-in-law Atul Agni Hotri. Uh, uh, thanks so much for joining us here on the show. Before we go any further, we want to toss to Fatima Karan, who's going to tell us just how big Salman Khan has been with this release, not just on the silver screen, but also on the cyber screen. Welcome to What's Trending. Well, Salman Khan can certainly flex his muscles harder than ever before, adoring fans writing into his Facebook page, which, by the way, has over 3.3 million likes. We'll also get you uh, many more reactions that have come in on uh, uh, his movie Bodyguard. Really, a lot being said about the chemistry between him and Karina as well. Curiosity, really, about how things are really going on that set. Just to go on to Twitter, well, you can see that the first thing people are concerned about is his surgery. Sababin says, uh, uh, reading surgery went fine. Salman will be back to work very soon. Amrit Adol says, Salman Khan to undergo another surgery. Get well soon, Salman Khan as well. And, of course, back to the movie and how it's doing, uh, how much money really it's raked in, setting all those uh, records at the box office. Well, we have uh, one of his ardent fans saying, is Salman Khan God? Well, uh, he is raking in a lot of money at the box office there. And then after that, we do have, uh, you may be an ardent Salman Khan fan, but really, if you have to be a pavement dweller to be what being starstruck is with, uh, with him actually means... Uh, not everybody loved the movie. Interested in committing suicide, says another uh, fan. Go watch Bodyguard. After that, uh, uh, we are getting all sorts of other reactions on Twitter as well. But with that, it is back to you guys. All right, but Rajiv Masand, you haven't been as complimentary. In fact, you've called it a lazy remake. Uh, despite the fact that critically it has been slammed as a film. How do you explain really that the fans are going in, not just Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we understand 88 crores worth of tickets have been sold already? Well, I think it's very clear that his fan following, really, his Salman Khan's connect with his fans is unprecedented. No actor really has this sort of connection, this sort of rapport with his fans that Salman Khan does. Um, they've embraced his film, a very mediocre film. Um, let me say, at the cost of um, you know upsetting the fans once again, a very mediocre film, but you know some, something that the fans have embraced wholeheartedly. Um, you know, he, as one critic very rightfully pointed out, he's become cinematic comfort food. You go into the theater to watch him do the same thing over and over again uh, and I think that is very true of Salman Khan there is comfort in the familiar and he tends to repeat himself uh, but there is a there is a sort of comfort in that familiarity with his, which his um, fans clearly enjoy uh, also let's not forget that you know these big numbers are, are, are not um, you know the, these big numbers are also because the week that the film released in is a holiday week the film opened on a Wednesday it has a, it's had a much longer weekend than most films tend to have it had a five-day weekend in a sense most films have only two so um, it's you know while of course it's his popularity it's also the timing of the release right as you make that point Rajiv I just want to get Atul Agni Hotri to respond to that considering it was the Eid weekend Atul it was expected to do well but did you imagine it would generate this kind of business it was an anticipated film there was a uh, great expectation which is uh, which which worked positively for us we were all supercharged we knew we renovated film release we were hopeful of a great start, but uh, one and a half times bigger than uh, you know Salman's last film was was an incredible start for us, and uh, we've had a great five days. Uh, looks like we were 
at 88 crores, 70 lakhs, I think, last night. So it looks like we'll do the 100 crore India target by Tuesday. Of course, uh, Atal Agni Otri, nothing succeeds like success. But really, what do you think it is about Salman Khan that makes him uh, sellable in these three blockbusters? It's not as if his, his intrinsic uh, character changes that much. Yeah, these are three 100 crore back-to-back -back films, which is a, a great feat from any standard. Um, I think uh, the way people um, consider him to be their own, the way they look at him, the way they relate with him, he's got uh, the image, the vulnerable, the righteous, the courageous hero. Uh, they like to see him in roles like that. They identify with him. They're with him when he's fighting. They're with him when he's dancing. And um, the people's verdict has been outstanding in this film. Rajiv? Uh, people's verdict has been outstanding. Being a good South Indian, I don't want to yet compare Salman Khan with Rajni Khan, but should we be drawing a comparison here, considering both these stars seem to have that set pattern for success, whether it's punch dialogues, candor about their own styles in the movie, humor, that seems to be the formula. I don't think we should be shy of making that comparison because um, it is very, it is, the, you know, the similarities are right there for everyone to see. Um, you know, there, there is a stylishness in the way they approach their films. Um, it's also very true that the characters that they play, um, and, and really it's the star that's bigger than the films. Um, you know, if you look at Ready, if you look at Bodyguard, if you look at Dabang, um, you know, Dabang, perhaps there was a character here, but really Ready, Bodyguard, Wanted even, um, it's Salman Khan being Salman Khan over and over again. It's something that Rajnikanth has really excelled. And, and really the film films that Salman Khan does, um, in a sense, have become a genre in themselves. You can't really describe uh, Bodyguard as necessarily a romantic or an action or a comedy film. It's, it's a little bit of everything, but it's really a Salman Khan film. And um, in a sense, he's defined the genre and created um, a space for himself that perhaps only Rajnikanth has until now. That's, that's really rare and high praise coming from you, uh, Rajiv Masan. The Salman Khan genre of films, are we ready for this? Well, let's just find out what this genre of films is. We've heard about Rajni Khan's punch dialogues, but these are Salman Khan's punchlines. Punch dialogues. Some gravity defying stunts. Some gravity defying stunts. Some gravity defying stunts. Hero Giri. We Robin Hood. Robin Hood Pandey. Characteristic dance moves. The result? Three hits at the box office, another one breaking all time records, and Salman Khan being dubbed as the Rajni Kant of Bollywood. It's not just about starring in southern remakes like Wanted, Ready, and Bodyguard, it's about being a genre in itself much like the Southern Superstar. Scripts being written in tune to Salman's persona to cater to his committed fans. On the flip side, films which don't draw on Salman's signature style tanked at the box office. And cashing in on Salman's stardom is his family. While Arbaz and Malaika Arora Khan produce Dabang and are already talking of a sequel, Bodyguards being co-produced by his sister Alvira Khan and brother-in-law Atul Agnihotri. And yes, even brother Sohail gets a share of the Salman pie. After co-producing Ready, he's returning with Salman's Sher Khan. In New Delhi, this is Lassi Priya Sundaram. Atul Agnihotri, film personalities are often politically correct when you make a comparison, but is Salman Khan now Bollywood's Rajnikanth? Rajnikanth's a very big star and he's iconic down south. Yes, uh, that kind of following and that kind of adulation, yes, Salman is beginning to see um, uh, because I think what he can get away with in, on screen, the kind of, I mean, the scale of the action, or the kind of action, or the kind of sequence, I think only he can get away with it. All and right. People love to see him do it. But is it just the action, Rajiv? In a in a sense that Salman Khan genre seems to have brought a lot of very slapstick, but even so, uh, makes you laugh straight away. Uh, comedy, you know, the shirt popping scenes, the tripping in the bung. 
the comedy really seems to be a large part of it. You're right. I think it's this sort of cheerful mindlessness um, that his films are all about. It's it's a, it's a sort of mixture of comedy and action that um, you know that that's this winning formula uh, because there is this very like you rightfully said this very slapstick, very silly kind of humor, which which in a sense is very endearing because he does it um, in a very endearing manner. And this over the top sort of slow mo stylized action, which uh, we've seen previously in Rajnikanth films, I think it's this it's this sort of formula of um, comedy and action that he seems to have um, you know got got down pat. Right, uh, which which is clearly what the fans are embracing wholeheartedly. Comedy and action works in South and the North, but Rajiv, I guess the only difference between the two is age and language. Uh, appreciate you joining us, uh, Rajiv Masand, and also Atul Agnihotri for the Salman Khan phenomenon.